Hi my dear viewers, today I'm very happy because um, my breeding season seems to be going well and I'm having a lot of moths currently. My hobby is breeding giant silk moths, for those that don't know, check out my YouTube channel please. You'll like it if you like insects. So let me tell you a few things about the species that I have right now. First let's start with the biggest and most impressive one. Let's do a quick rundown. Oh, please calm yourself. This is the female of the giant comet moth from Madagascar, Argema mitrii. Most people who know a few things about insects will know about this species. It's very impressive and one of the biggest silk moths in the world. And I hope to breed it. It's endemic to Madagascar, that means only on the island of Madagascar you can find this species. Despite that they are very popular to breed in captivity because, well, they are, let's admit it, they are absolutely beautiful. It's not the easiest species to breed. Um, it's for more for advanced insect breeders. But yeah, they seem to do well on a variety of trees. For example, smoke bush and liquid amber. So yeah, let's put it here. You, you're a beauty. Secondly, we have one from the tropics from South America. I must be careful because it's very hot, it's very warm outside. That means the moths are active and willing to fly. They need, they need to be warmed up. And here we have a giant Rothschildia moth. Rothschildia libo from South America. And it, comes, uh, it occurs in places like Costa Rica and the Amazon rainforest. It's uh, generally a very nice and easy to breed uh, little insect. Well, I'm calling it little, it's actually big, not little. I do like Rothschildias. If you look at my channel, by the way, you'll see a lot of these species, a lot of Rothschildia that I've bred in the past. As you can see, the size is still nothing compared to the comet moth. Here we have another interesting one. These are very beautiful, but maybe you'll have noticed that most of them have damage on their wings. And that's a very sad but true fact. This species it damages itself very fast. And the reason for that is because, well, they're very hyperactive. They fly a lot and they go crazy. And these are just one day old and already ugly. Hang on, it was trying to escape. Here we go. They're very nice. It's the Rocky Mountain Agapema. Agapema homogena. Let me show you some of its colors. It's very beautiful. There we go. You have a sharp, nice, clear image. But the fact that it's so, also so beautiful also makes it quite sad that they are so fragile and damage themselves so fast. Here we go. Take this one for example. It's just one day old and the wings are all messed up. It's just broken its own wings. See? And that just seems to happen with this species a lot sadly. But that's okay, you know, maybe it looks a little bit stupid, but they're stable, still able to fly and pair, so maybe I don't mind. Still a very nice thing. As you can see, they're very active. I have to be careful. Right now they can escape, and I don't want any to escape. Well... Next we have a very common little European species. It's the garden tiger moth, Arctiochaia. Most of people who have been in Europe have seen them at some point. At least if you're lucky to live in a... If you don't live in a city but in a forested area with a, some a bit of nature. Hmm. Seems like they're trying to escape. Gives me a nice opportunity to catch one again. Here we go. Garden tiger moth, not sure how to properly show it. It's very active, as you can see. I just want to show its colors, hang on. I'm trying, gonna try and catch it again.
one moment please stay tuned yes I <laughs> have here we go now it's easier to see I had to grab it for a moment it was very buzzy the colors colors are a warning it means don't eat me they are slightly toxic to predators reminds me of a ladybug well fly free my little one and that was pretty much it. I just have one more species that's a little bit strange. Let's try and flush it out. Well, this one's not very special looking. It's just very small silvery moth. It's from Africa and um, it's related to the processionary moths. I have a male and a female. I hope they pair. scientific name is Anafe and I have no clue which Anafe species this is I thought it was a notodontidae but I'm actually wrong it's related to the processionary caterpillars so it's very hard to show these because well maybe I can show them inside of the cage let's see it's very difficult there you go Well, thanks for watching, that was it for today. And next week I'll have another video with more species, so please keep watching and thank you very much.